Catholic theology has always been, been very firm that our faith in the Word of God is in a reality that we don't see. That's why we have to believe it. Uh, we have no direct experience of God in our lives. The only experience we have of God is indirect. It's through his creation. And so if we're going to know something about the inner life of God, uh, we can't know it through directly through experience. We have to believe in it. And that's very, very true. But in the centuries uh, before the Second Vatican Council, Catholic theology kind of went overboard in stressing that point. And it was almost saying our faith is through hearing alone, it is not from experience. It is through nothing that comes to us through our normal experience of, of daily life. And so I wanted to pursue that. Uh, what is the relationship between the kind of the authority of faith we believe because we're told by God to believe versus what comes from our own experience? So I began by looking at the kind of the tradition of Catholic theology in that. So I, I began with a chapter on uh, Aquinas and I, I found out very quickly that uh, for Aquinas, faith is both. It's both something that comes to us from the Word of God, from the tradition, from the church, but it's also very firmly grounded in our experience of God, in, in, in grace, in inner experience of God on the one hand, but also our experience of God's creation uh, on the other hand. And so my dissertation was really trying to work out for myself a proper relation between what we know of God through revelation on the one hand and what we experience of God both through our friendship with God in this life and also through what we can know of the creation. And as I look back on it, uh, I, I think my major theme there has become even stronger as I have continued learning and teaching. And so it's between really grace and nature, that, that we never deal purely with grace. We never deal purely with grace, with God's revelation. Uh, there's always a natural component that is perfected by that grace. And so really my dissertation was trying to put together the grace and nature aspects of revelation. Uh, how uh, what we believe is truly a gift of God, it comes from God, but it's also rooted in our own uh, experience of God's friendship that he's given us, and also in our broader experience of the world and God's creation. You cannot be a good philosopher or a good theologian without nuance and critical thinking going together. Uh, and you cannot do it without the commitment to dialogue with others, even if they disagree strongly with um, us. Students need to realize that not only could they be wrong, but they are probably wrong in a lot of things they have been thinking and a willingness to come to terms with that being wrong and to change. And sometimes that kind of change to give up the things, the thought patterns, the concepts that have made us very comfortable in either our lives in general or our Catholicism uh, in particular uh, is the greatest challenge uh, for a student. Uh, but it's the sine qua non. Without that, there is not learning.